So at the time of this recording, Wonderfest is currently taking place in Japan, and you guys know exactly what that means. Tons and tons of action figure displays and news for me to talk about. And so here we are again with another action figure news update video. At this point, I feel like I've done so many of these. There's really no need for an introduction. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. If you know how these videos work, I drop this content as long as you guys show that you appreciate it. And in hitting that like button, that's how you do it. So go ahead and drop a like for your boy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And let's get right into it, starting off with some Figma. Now it's no secret that certain companies end up producing figures of characters from the same exact line and here we are with Figma showcasing their solicitations with Hell's Paradise, Gabimaru and Sagiri. Both of these I'm excited for, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did pre-order the SH Figure Arts versions but as we all know Figma usually goes in a little bit more on the accessories. Now there's no point in talking about Sagiri just because all we got is a coming soon image but we actually have a display prototype of Gabi Maru and I gotta say that this thing looks good I love the fact that from the jump Figma showcase that this figure is going to be able to pose because Gabi Maru is one who is very very agile and from the looks of it he's going to come with at least one of his flame accessories which is something that the SH Figures version didn't include and that's more than enough reason for me to pick this up anyway now me being who I am it was gonna happen regardless but still now when it comes to Figma as we all know they are very hit and miss but again, I love that they showcased that this figure can pose. Whether or not he's going to be able to hold it without falling apart, that is yet to be determined. But um, I don't know. This is one I'm super excited for. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long for the promo images to come up so that you guys can decide whether you want these. But I am curious. Uh, are you guys into Hell's Paradise? I know it was a very slept on anime. And I'm going to say this one more time. If you have not watched it, give it a shot. It's totally worth it. I'm telling you guys it is a very beautiful anime with a great story but anyway that's neither here nor there uh we do have hell's paradise figures from figma coming so at this point in the video for whatever reason my mic decided it just wanted to quit working and i have absolutely no idea how to get it to start working again or if it will so if the sound quality changes i'm very sorry guys but i'm still going to try to get this video out to you i just want to make sure you understand exactly what happened and what's going on uh if anything changes hopefully it doesn't but this is a heads up just in case now next up we have probably what i am the most excited for when it comes to figma it is none other than a legend of zelda link figure and I will go ahead and say right now, I never had the Legend of Zelda experience growing up. I never owned a Nintendo platform. It was always Sony. That was all that I ever had growing up. And so I just kind of admired this character and his adventure from afar. And I always liked it, man. I loved the character Link when I would play Smash Brothers with my friends. I would always pick him. Um, and just any game that I played with him in it, that would be my character. And maybe one day I need to just buy myself a Wii or something, whatever's popular these days in the uh, Nintendo market. Maybe I need to get one a Switch, I think is what it is. But anyway. And on to the figure, man. This thing looks good. I had the deluxe Link figure years and years ago, but I needed to sell it just because I needed the money at the time. And I still regret that to this day. This is a figure that once I get my hands on, it is definitely going to be a holy grail. Now, I can't tell whether this is him in the blue outfit or this is him in the green. Either way, I don't really care just because his design is so badass all the time anyway it doesn't really make a difference so um yeah i gotta have this man i know this is probably gonna be a very expensive figure i don't see it being any cheaper than 70 80 bucks possibly even more than that knowing figma but um this is another one that i really hope comes sooner rather than later and i really hope that he comes with a slew of accessories i would love a bow and arrow a couple of extra swords and maybe some of the same stuff that the deluxe link version came with years and years ago if it does i'll be happy if it doesn't i'll still be happy but more accessories the better especially with what figma charges but um yeah anyway if you guys are a fan of link we have another one coming baby 
Now moving away from Figma and moving right on to some Revel Tech, they finally decided to give us a display of this Catwoman and then also the Aizawa that they mentioned we were going to be getting some time ago when they announced Kirishima. Now starting off with this Catwoman, I don't know if you guys know, I don't even know if I made a video on it, maybe I didn't, but um, the image on the top left of this Catwoman went up randomly one night a few weeks ago and the action figure community was in a frenzy. Just seeing this pose, a lot of people already knew that they were going to be picking it up, myself included, and I gotta be honest, it's the thighs, man. It's the, let me not even joke, let me just stop that right there, right now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the real reason I'm going to be getting this figure is because I feel like it's actually going to be a damn good figure. Now, Revel Tech doesn't really do great on the aesthetics of their superhero figures. Uh, like Batman, he kind of looked a little blocky. Spider-Man especially. But when it comes to the women figures, Wonder Woman and Harley Quinn, that Harley Quinn is one of the best Revel Tech releases to date. She actually has a re-release coming. If you haven't gotten that, be on the lookout for it. But um, I just really enjoyed that figure and the proportions and the aesthetics of it just looked so good. And from the looks of it, this Catwoman is going to be the same way. I really hope she comes with a ton of accessories. And uh, either way, I'm picking this up. At some point, I hope they make Arkham Batman because we're really in need. Now, they also showcase Thor. Um, maybe this is new. Maybe this has been showcased. I'm not entirely sure. I know we got Captain America and Iron Man. I don't remember seeing this Thor. But he looks like a big boy, man. And that cape... Oh, gosh, this this looks good. I'm going to be honest. This looks good. Again, I don't know if this is old, but I know it hasn't been released. But um, yeah, this thing looks dope. I really hope he comes with some lightning effects. And if so, I might have to pick this one up. I ain't getting the cap or the Iron Man, but this Thor looks damn good, man. This this looks amazing. And to be honest, I'd even go as far as to say it looks like it beats out the Moffex version. Some people ain't going to be happy with that, but I said what I said. Uh, either way, I'm picking it up. Now, last but not least, we have none other than Aizawa Sensei from Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia. Now, this one I'm not extremely thrilled about. I've kind of lost interest in the My Hero line. I'm still going to be picking up my favorite characters. I'll probably get this just to review. Hopefully, I enjoy it, but Revel Tech just... I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I collect so much stuff that I needed to get rid of something. But um, I don't know. Hawks completely lost me. Uh, Endeavor was a good release. Kirishima looks like he's going to be okay. Uh, but I really hope for some re-releases from previous or of previous figures with better joint systems. Because my Deku completely falling apart. Bakugo completely falling apart. And those are the main two that you really need. So... I don't know, man. I, I just hope that the engineering, designing, and everything gets better. I don't want Revel Tech figures that just constantly fall apart. Uh, but yeah, this does look decent. I'm going to need some more photos before I can truly say whether I am all that interested or not. Now, first, we had a little bit of Figma, then we had some Revel Tech, and now we have none other than a bit of BuzzMod. And from the looks of it, BuzzMod is going to be sticking around as a company, despite their incredibly ridiculous price point for their action figures. Here we have none other than the official solicitation for their Roroni Kenshin figure, and I gotta say that it looks good. But that's a problem. The fact that it looks good and not great. Again, these figures are usually a hundred dollars a pop like I, i've never bought a buzz mod for under a hundred bucks and this is one that i don't see selling for any less than that and that's the problem it just looks soft it, it looks okay i'm not gonna say it looks bad but it doesn't look as incredible as i would want it to look now granted the pants are soft goods but i do feel like they probably should have done the upper half as soft goods as well just so that you can get maximum posability out of this guy without all of the blocky joints i don't know why they chose one over the other i know they typically do this with their releases but still i just i don't get it like why not make the top half soft goods if if it was according to cost why not make the top half soft goods and then the lower half uh plastic because 
you're going to need more range out of the top half of this figure because he swings a sword. Now, granted, the articulation on this guy is probably going to be fine, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be blocky and maybe unesthetically pleasing depending on how all of this turns out looking. Now, that's just a guess. Who knows how this is going to turn out? Uh, I more than likely am not going to be picking this one up, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I hope that they drastically improve this whenever they put up the official promo images because I'm just not feeling this one. Now, next up from BuzzMod, we did get the announcement that we are going to be getting a version 2 of the Rengoku figure, which I feel is actually needed because the first Rengoku figure we got, it had two happy faces and then I think a teeth gritted looking to the side face and they missed out on his iconic expression where he's battling with the bloody eye, which they did add to this one. And then we also get a faceplate where he is laughing with his eyes closed. And so for the facial expressions, honestly, I think these are just repaints. I don't think these are any kind of new sculpt or anything like that. I highly doubt it. And um, I mean, it's a good way for them to capitalize off of another bag for this figure. I do hope that they make it a tad bit cheaper just because of the fact that it is a reused mold and pretty much a brand new cape. Now, now, if you look at the cape attached to this guy, I'll be honest, it doesn't look all that great, but it is one I have to have in hand in order to judge it. I'm probably going to pick this one up because it is going to be more accurate to what we got from the anime, especially from when he was battling Akaza. Now, speaking of Akaza, the reason I have him up top is just because of the fact I want everyone to know he is getting a re-release. So if you missed out on this figure, uh, your opportunity to get him is coming. Again, this could just be another way for BuzzMod to capitalize and collect another bag. But they do re-release their figures. I know we've gotten a re-release of Tanjiro several times. I believe Nezuko. And then I'm assuming there will be more in the future in case you missed out. Akaza is a very good figure. The only issue is the neck, which it's just too small, hopefully. They make it a tad bit longer on this one or do some kind of double ball peg to make it look like it's longer. I don't know. Hopefully they do that. I feel like that would be a necessary change and it would also make this much more valuable in terms of me picking it up. But um, yeah, do get Akaza. His price was pretty crazy for a while there. Don't miss out on him a second time. Now, last but not least is probably my favorite reveal out of everything that was showcased. We finally have a prototype of the Muchiro Tokito Buzz Mod action figure. And if you guys don't know, Muchiro is my favorite Ashura. So obviously there's going to be a little bit of bias here. This is one I just absolutely have to have in my collection. And ever since I watched the Swordsmith Village arc, I needed this figure about a hundred times more than when I just read the manga. And so now that Mitsuri is finally up for pre-order, I'm hoping that soon we will be getting Tokito. But I do want to go ahead and say, based on what I'm seeing, I do have a problem with this. But first, I want to highlight the good. As you guys can see, we do have at least five facial expressions with this guy. And two of them have the Demon Slayer mark. Thankfully, they're finally including that and it's rightfully time just because of the fact that it did happen in the anime. Once more characters start getting their Demon Slayer marks, I'm assuming uh, we're going to be getting extra facial expressions for characters after they activate them. That would be a genius move on BuzzMod's part. It truly seems like they are trying to keep everything spoiler free with these releases and that's something I appreciate. Now on to the bad about this figure, uh, at least current. It's the same thing I said about Rurouni Kenshin. He's got this big upper half that is all sculpted and articulation is everything on these figures. And so I really wish that they would have made the bottom half of the figure plastic and the top half soft goods. Therefore, we don't have to worry about any issues or any kind of crazy blockiness when it comes to posing this figure around. I just feel like that would be a better move. And honestly, it would make the figure move a tad bit more fluidly. Uh, fluidly, if that's a word, we'll say fluid. But um, yeah, I, I do like it. Right now, it's just 
just a prototype, so I'm not going to be too harsh on it. We just have to see how it's going to turn out. Uh, based on what I'm seeing, I don't think that this is the final product. I think that they just kind of threw something out there to let us know it's coming because if you look at the image, uh, he doesn't have a diaphragm cut and he also doesn't have any cuts or any kind of extra sculpt work for articulation in the arms. I'm assuming they're either going to be interchangeable or this just isn't complete, like I said. But either way, I'm excited for this one. It's another one I have to have because of my own biases. Hopefully, it goes up for pre-order soon because this is one I can't wait to add to my collection. Now, before I wrap up this video, I want to say that this recording was a pain in the ass because it is so hot in Texas and it's so hot in the room that I'm recording in. And on top of that, I had all kinds of technical difficulties. I had to re-record this video who knows how many times at this point, man. And so for you guys that made it this far, make sure you drop a like for your boy. I would greatly appreciate it because I put a lot of work into this video, man. I got to go take another shower and I've already showered after getting back from the gym. I am not feeling that whatsoever. But anyway, all complaints to the side. We got a whole lot of action figures, 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 figures. And I want to know which ones are you guys planning on picking up? A lot of the stuff in this video, I am going to be getting some of them. I'm not. I already mentioned which ones. But um, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are going to be picking up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye. Like this damn video.